Hello, this is Isuk here bringing you a tutorial video on how you can transfer Pokemon that you made using PokéGen and PokéSave onto your legit copies of Black and White and your legit copies of any of the fourth generation games. First thing you're going to want to do in PokéGen is you should know by now how to use it and you make the Pokemon and then you go to file save Pokemon and then you save it and you'll end up with one of these files these files are PKM files and they're 136 bytes or whatever that means of size so you're gonna wanna use these files right here these are your Pokemon what do you do with those files is you go to this website right here it's called Poke Select Selector. You look it up on Google, it's not hard, it's fine. You go there and now you can browse, click on the Pokemon you want to send over to your DS and click submit. And this is kind of cool of this website how they show you their stats, their IVs, their EVs. Uh, trainer information, their moves, personality, and all, and like all this information, like they show it to you. And now this Pokemon is like a server; it does stuff. And the way you get it onto your DS is using this DNS code thing. You turn on your DS, and this is what you do: you go to Nintendo Wi-Fi settings. You click on the setting that you're using that you're connecting to go scroll down to auto obtain DNS and primary DNS you're gonna wanna insert this code right here like like this number that they have right here you're gonna wanna fill it in right here click OK and then save settings and after that you're gonna want to go and pick up your Pokemon at the GTS. To do that, you have to you pick it up. You pick up your Pokemon at the GTS. So you go to Global Trade GTS you Trade. You save the game and then you go in. Uh, the this website says that you have to have six Pokemon in your party. So make sure you have six. And after that, you just go into the GTS and you'll receive your Pokemon as if you're offer to trade was successful you'll just receive the Pokemon you get I can't really record any footage of me getting it and after all that's finished uh, just as a reminder don't forget to change your DNS settings back to do that you just simply just go back over here scroll down auto obtain DNS you click yes and then save settings that way you can play online normally again and this has been the tutorial on how you can get uh, Pokemon you've made using Pokemon on your DS by yourself, but on an R4 or anybody else helping you trade. So, yeah.